Hey, we're going to have a little look at Three Little Birds by Bob Marley uh, and The Wailers. Um, loads of people think this is kind of don't worry about a thing. What good vibes. Now, we only need three chords. We need an A major, a D major, and an E major. I'm going to talk you through how to play those chord shapes if you don't already know. I'm going to talk you through the strumming, the structure of the song, and that little twiddly... That little riff that happens to Okay, first up, we're going to look at that riff that happens four times after the drum fill at the start of the song. We get... We get it four times. In the intro, I think I played it up here. play it all around the neck. We're going to do it down here, starting at the second fret of the G string. We're going to play that note, and then an open B string. So it's two on the G, open B, back to two on the G, and then the high E string open. So we're only pressing down the second fret of the G string so far. We had... Two on the G, open B, two on the G, open E. And then two on the B, open B, two on the G to finish. The whole thing. I'll talk you through it slowly once more. Two on the G, open B, two on the G again, open E. Two on the B, open B, two on the G to finish. And you play it four times at the start of the song. Fantastic. We start off with the chorus pattern at the start of the song after that riff. We get A. A major is second fret on the D, second fret on the G, second fret on the B. And we strum everything but the low. E string. We leave that one out. We have two bars of A major and I'll come to the strumming in a moment after I've explained there. D major. D major is first finger on the second fret of the G, third finger on the third fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the high E and this time we don't strum the elephants or and or E and A string. Just the top four. So the chorus just needs those two chords. It's A, And then D, and then A. It's two bars of A, a bar of D, and then a bar of A, and that repeats twice. So one, two, just down strums. To D, to A. That's our progression. I don't know about you, I found that strumming a little bit boring. If you can get to grips with that, move on with the video. If not, go back and see if you can piece together. A for two bars, D, back to A. Two times through that progression and you're gonna go A. Just down strums, four times for each bar. So we get A, A again, and D. And A. And again, A. And A again. And D. And A. That is step one. Step two to make the strum in a little bit more interesting is just to make strums two and four a little bit louder. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. That's really common in reggae. Lots of people think reggae is all about playing on the syncopated part of the beat, the one, and two, and three, and four, and on the end of the beat. Often it is, but for three little birds, if we're gonna make anything louder, it's beats two and four. So we'll get one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four, and D. And A. So we can strum on beats one and three, the down beats. One, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four, but two and four are gonna be louder. Okay, if that strumming pattern's okay, let's add in some mutes, so we might get Now, for each bar I'm going sh on the one I'm going one and, but with mutes, and then strumming on two, so I get three and four. The whole bar would be one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. All right. Now the mutes are achieved by not pressing the strings down fully to fret the notes, but just touching the strings, releasing some of the pressure, so you get that percussive sound. And on the A, I'm not strumming the open strings, I'm just concentrating the strums on where I'm putting my fingers. So I get mute, mute strum, mute, mute strum, mute, mute strum, mute, mute strum. All right, hopefully there's some stuff to think about there with the chorus. Try and remember that order, A, A, D, A, 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 D, A. In the verse, where he goes, what did he sing? Woke up this morning, smile with a rising sun. I am not a singing teacher, people. I'm a terrible singer, but you get the idea. We need an E major in the verse. E major is first finger, first fret on the G, second finger on the second fret of the A, third finger on the second fret of the D. E major, and we can strum all six strings. If we keep our one, two, three, for strumming, I'll talk you through the verse. One, two, three, four. A, E, A, D, A, E, D, A. That's our verse. It's an eight bar progression. It's A for a bar, then E, then A, then D, then A, then E, then D, then A. That's our verse. The song goes drum fill. A lovely little kind of keyboard riff playing on guitar. Then the chorus wants. Then the verse, then the chorus, then the verse, and then the chorus to finish. Try and memorize the different progressions. Work on that riff. Thinking about the rhythms of those notes and then work on those changes between A and D and then adding in the E for the verse. The main thing, it's your eyebrow, the main thing that's gonna make this song more interesting to the listener is the strumming hand. Bringing it to life with those mutes and the downs and ups and accentuating beats two and four. So that's the first thing to get good at. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you know bar chords, or maybe the cage system, you can start to explore around the neck for the ADs and E's. That's maybe for another day. If you know A, D and E down here, you're doing brilliantly. This is a great song to add in a little riff and some interesting strumming. Enjoy!